soccer practice, piano lessons, dance, parent-teacher meetings, any of that on your radar right now? Scheduling conundrums are an everyday issue, so when you hear people say, I don't have time to cook, to work up meal plans, it's understandable, but it's possible. Here to show us how, entertaining expert and cookbook author, Brooke Parkhurst. Good morning, Brooke. Good morning, Mary. You know what? It is that back to school time. It's the crunch. Mm -hmm. How do you get the, the kids from school to their lessons and then back home without a meltdown and with a delicious <laughs> dinner, right? We're all facing that problem. I like that you use the word meltdown because we, I mean, listen, everybody's seen that. So which approach do you take when you're short on time, yes. but you still want to make up a delicious meal for the whole family? How do you get it done? Yeah, you know, my, my husband and I, who's actually a chef, we have a very exacting seven-year-old who wants a spectacular meal every <laughs> night. Um, and so, thank goodness, I just discovered Lemongrass Kitchen. Uh, they have six entrees that, believe it or not, can be made in 10 minutes or less. So, with they have the chicken pad thai, the beef and broccoli stir-fry and noodles totally delicious and it's a wonderful alternative to you know picking up the phone and calling in for takeout so they work with chef and restaurateur my farm and she brings in amazingly the flavors of southeast asia into our home and into your home um, it's the best option of all though so healthy um, no msg no artificial ingredients and it can be found at any Target store near you. Mm -hmm. So we're loving Lemongrass Kitchen. Now another great option, specifically for me and my husband and the picky chef that he is, uh, our Healthy Choice and their Healthy Choice Simply Cafe Steamers line. Right here with me, I have their really on-trend, delicious flavored uh, three cheese tortellini. So it's you know, amazing organic mushrooms, spinach, cheese, and then it's cooked in the steamer basket, which is super cool, I love that, um, which locks in the freshness and flavor. Um, and it's cooked in a lovely kind of tomato, a hearty tomato sauce. It makes our apartment smell delicious. My husband could potentially think that I've been cooking all day, even though I haven't been. Um, so that is another wonderful option for busy, on-the-go adults. And now, but you know, if you have kids or if you have nieces and nephews, for kids, it's also snacking in between the mm -hmm. meals. Their little bodies actually do need something, but it's tempting to just go for the chips or go for the crackers and not feed them something healthful. Well, the best of both worlds, Crispy Green has the crispy fruit snacks, okay? It's actually freeze-dried fruit. Super cool, right? Mm -hmm. So it's 100% awesome. pure fruit, no added sugar, no added anything. Um, amazing flavors. My daughter's favorite is the freeze-dried mango. Mm -hmm and the freeze-dried apple, and it has that light kind of crispy texture of a chip, but guess what? It's 100% fruit. So I feel great about giving it to her, and she's not gonna complain that I didn't give her chips. <laughs> Another great thing that they're doing, they have an initiative, they're working with Produce for Kids um, by sponsoring them with their program, Power Your Lunchbox. So they've had this program for three years now, and it's all about packing your kids the best snacks, the best food, and just, you know, filling their lunchbox with great things all throughout the school year. So I feel good about everything here, and I think it's really going to help, you know, busy parents out there when it comes to that, that meltdown hour. You know, what are you going to do? Well, I hope I've had, a, you know, I've given you a few, few tips and hints about, um, you know, how to handle this kind of back-to-school crunch time. Brooke, we are out of time. Thank you for joining us today, and all the best to you and your family. Emily, this school year, okay? Thank you, Mary. Thank you, Mike. We'll send it over to you.